All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. And um, obviously, if you're over on Patreon, I've started a new system where I have a map of the construction site and I have our confirmed knowledge and then our um, speculated predicted um, kind of knowledge on the map, just so it clarifies everything a little better for everyone. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so I won't be showcasing that anytime soon in my videos. Um, but uh, so far with construction, they are working well ahead on their reinforced tunnel over here. So they're still drilling in those steel piles and then also um, cement footings in between those steel piles uh, just to reinforce those tunnel walls so that they don't cave in from pressure uh, is my understanding. So that's really cool. Um, back a lot, uh, restaurant, no evidence of what could possibly be going on there. Just the stars and the name were removed from the building. Um, so not quite sure uh, if that will entail anything. Um, outside of a VIP area. There's only three places I could possibly see the VIP building, and that is in Elpin in the old Thunder Run building or the building next to Extreme Sky Flyer or the Backlot Restaurant. So it'll be interesting to see when Wonderland releases that video, hopefully very shortly, um, about what's going on there. Uh, over in Elpin, uh, construction is well underway to refurbish a lot of the buildings over there. So if you've been watching, uh, they're working on refurbishing those. Uh, over at Wonder Mount's Guardian, they were removing this awning, so the awning was coming down. I don't think that means anything because I do have confirmation that Wonder Mountains Guardian will be opening with the park this year. Um, whether that's right when the park opens or a little bit later, it still will just be, it'll be opening. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else important on this side. Um, I will say that the station, I'm hearing rumblings, rumblings, that the station is being built inside the mountain. So we will not see, or we may not need to see, International Showplace or any of those other buildings um, get removed. Um, so from what I'm hearing, the station will be somewhere in that hole back there. Inside the mountain, the station will be located, and then it's going to be launching out of the mountain. Um, what tunnel it uses to launch out, still unknown, but from what I'm hearing, it's going to start in the mountain and launch out. So that's really cool. That's some awesome information to learn. Um, and yeah, outside of that, just lots of work going on everywhere. Again, I'm not going to be able to tell you of any significant markings like over here on this side. It's a lot closer so I can see orange markings and spray paint on the ground. But on the other side, I can't make out spray paint. Um, Outside of that, no evidence of any um, spray paint or anything on the top of the mountain. So uh, no signs of anything happening up there. And um, over at Extreme Skyfire, nothing as well. Um, but there was a really important company on site. Let me go figure out what company that was again before um, I state it. It was uh, Bros um, Electrical. Um, their project management is their specialties. And uh, yeah, so uh, Wonderland has hired another project manager to oversee this construction project. So that was really interesting information to learn as well. So um, they were over at Extreme Sky Flyer's plot of land. Again, um, signs that maybe they're getting ready to start removing it um, because they could be overseeing just that as well, the, the removal of Extreme Sky Flyer. And yeah, I think that's all the information I have. Mindbusters um, refurbishment is coming along nicely and Moosehorn Falls. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the land's leveled and ready to start digging some footings. All right, thanks so much for watching. Um, and again, uh, I have a lot more information over on Patreon and a lot more detailed. Anyways, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.